How do you know if you're working the right things in practice? I will tell you this, a system that is focusing your efforts is telling you what to do, but by default, it is also telling you what not to do. So if you take a weightlifting program and you go into Gold's Gym and there's three levels and it's like 150,000 square foot of space or whatever the heck it is, guess what? If you wanna be a college wrestler or a college football player or a college, you know, uh, female too, right? Volleyball, track, we're, 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 we're focusing on a lot of the same lifts, right? Plyometrics, uh, you know, tire strikes with a sledgehammer, uh, tire flips, deadlifts, certainly, squats, certainly, walking lunges, certainly, uh, maybe kettlebell swings, obviously pull-ups, pulls, uh, traditional old bench press and incline bench press because these are multi-joint movements that incorporate more than one muscle group, they're power exercises. Now, are you gonna do rever reverse wrist curls? If you wanna be a bodybuilder, you will, but you probably aren't gonna spend time on that if you are, you know, um, a baseball player. So, how about the machines, the cable machines, right? Like the Nautilus type machines. Okay, Gold's Gym has those too, but you're not gonna do those probably. Now, a 38 year old housewife who wants to lose 20 pounds probably will. I would use those. Some of you dads watching this would use those. But if you're a 38 year old housewife who hasn't ran a mile in 20 years and you're like my level of conditioning is not very good that's the reason I'm in here be patient with me right I'm trying to get back into the swing of things is she gonna tire strike a tractor tire with a 45 pound sledgehammer probably not right <clears throat> she doesn't need that so all that Gold's Gym, there's a program for you. You're gonna do this stuff, and you're gonna do this stuff. And the stuff is like compartmentalized, right? So you don't have to hike from the pulley machine to go to the sledgehammer. It's just not even close. There's sections. <coughs> so by default, when I go into the weight room and it says, okay, Nick, you're a great wrestler, but you wanna wrestle in college, you are pretty weak, dude. You gotta get strong. Here's your plan. Okay, guess what? It tells me what to do. And I walk right past the pink bouncy ball, right? Grandma sits on a pink bouncy ball and does five pound curls with the, with the uh, purple dumbbells. Dude, you're not gonna sit on a pink bouncy ball and curl the, the purple dumbbells, Nick. Walk past that. So it doesn't say not to do it, but by default it does because of, uh, a system that focuses my efforts and I'm just gonna I'm just gonna trust them I'm not gonna say oh man maybe I should pull that pulley machine maybe I should sit on the pink bouncy ball no if you're gonna second-guess the guy or the gal then just don't waste your time and money just go figure stuff out on your own just run around like a monkey and hop around on all the exercises and just start doing stuff Good luck, I hope it works out. So trust and verify, right? The system that you have, and if someone has proven that it works, do it. And what you're gonna find is you're not gonna touch most of that equipment. Just like in wrestling, you're not gonna touch most of the wrestling. Now, we're not gonna work chest to chest over under in folk style wrestling, why? Because it's stupid. It don't do it. Stay out of that position. So your wrestling is going to get smaller. We don't want to try to learn 3,800 wrestling techniques. We're going to just focus on 
the main common positions, right? Like scoring from a front headlock. And I counted all this stuff out years ago. You're gonna get about four front headlocks a match times 50 matches in varsity 200 times this year. Plus practice, if you wrestle uh, two, three days a week year round, you might get 7,000 front headlocks. I don't know, there'll be a lot of them. So you're like, man, I'm gonna get good from there. Good, you should. <clears throat> now, if you're a Greco guy or maybe girl, I don't know if they have Greco for girls yet. Maybe one day there'll be interest. Then, guess what? Oh, Nick, I thought you said we don't wrestle chest to chest. Oh, I said we're not doing that in folk style. Greco practice, we do. Because that's a common position. It's a, it's a necessary position, right? So, in the sport of wrestling, what we've done is we've taken basics, phase one, phase two, phase three. There's four levels to wrestling based upon if you're a youth wrestler or experienced or uh, not even youth, but if you're a first year, you can be a first year 18 year old and you need our basics phase. If you've wrestled three years or less, I don't care what age you are, you, you need our basics phase. And probably if you've wrestled 10 years and you're 17 years old and you kind of scroll through every video on our basics phase, you're probably like blown away and you probably feel like an idiot because you're like, dude, I didn't even know. <laughs> There's 11 things there I didn't even know. You probably don't even know do half Nelson the right way. Seriously, I'll show you if you, if you get our online program. <clears throat> so that's what a system does. So how do you know if you're working the right stuff? Just think about, is this conducive to winning in a wrestling match? Is is reverse wrist curls conducive to getting a scholarship in wrestling? Probably not. Is it conducive to success in bodybuilding? Probably so. Is it conducive to having success in tennis? Your backhand in tennis. I bet they do a lot of uh, those working those muscle groups, right? <coughs> and from a wrestling standpoint, you don't want to try to learn every wrestling move that was ever created. You want to get smaller and you focus on the common positions and they're sort of... Um, there's a hierarchy of common positions there, right? Some are important, some are not. Um, that's the reason over under position is, that's something we spend time on because I have just as much of a chance of getting scored on as I do scoring. So I avoid that position. Now in Greco, I won't, but in folk style, I will. So I, you know, I've done all the legwork for you guys. So um, that's what a system does and that is how you know whether or not you're wasting your time or not. So I would encourage you guys to come up with a system or if you just want to get ours go to perlerwrestling.com and get our system it is our online wrestling academy and um, there's some testimonials there from guys like Stefan Mishik third in the world Colton Schultz three-time world champion high school he kind of got my system years ago quit or started homeschooling and um, just trained <laughs> right Nick Lee from Penn State there's some famous guys Noah Certain He's bad to the bone. He's a starter right now at Mizzou. You know who Noah Certain is. He started on our, on our system, trained for a year on his own with his dad, and then joined my program when he was like 12. And you know, he's a tremendous guy. So he kind of grew up on our system as well. And our, our academy, right? We have 400 something athletes driving in from, you know, as much as nine hours uh, round trip. There's one family that does that, it's crazy. But a lot of people drive five or six hours round trip once a week to train with us. So, um, you know, but get it. Get our online academy. Get a home wrestling mat. And then hit 30 reps of everything and peck through the list. Okay, basics is done. 30 reps of everything. Phase one is done. 30 reps of everything. Phase two is done. And there's a video there. <clears throat> how to implement our wrestling system. Take a pen and paper. Go to the coaches section. There's also free samples there. If you wanted to see the free samples, right? Otherwise, the program is $249 plus $15 a month. So affordable to anybody. And uh, we do it that way because, you know, these, these things are very expensive to make and create and build stuff. I mean, people wonder why things cost money. Golly, have you seen what it costs to advertise? It's like 21 grand just to put six ads in USA Wrestler Magazine. It's unbelievable, right? <clears throat> so what happens is, you know, things are just expensive, but, you know, skip some of these stupid out-of-state tournaments and save that 500 bucks and start going to some camps. Get the online academy. Have friends come over. 
get a home wrestling mat, put some time on, get some weights for the basement, some good ones, right? Get it aerodyne, bust ass. If you're serious about wrestling, put some time in. Good luck.